So Trump still has not conceded. He may never concede, but it looks like Biden's the president. But a lot of Canadians look at that and they say, if Trump was so hated in the States, why didn't he get more votes? It's virtually the same. Well, when we come to hard political questions, Michael Diamond always comes along and gives us the answer. Michael, why were they virtually the same in the voter turnout? Well, Donald Trump, you had to look back at the election and who was actually excited about going to vote for Joe Biden? There was a lot of people who are Democrats who went to vote for him. There's a lot of people who disliked Donald Trump who went to vote for him. But Donald Trump actually did motivate unlikely voters to go out and vote for him. So people were excited and enthusiastic to vote for Donald Trump. They voted for Joe Biden because he wasn't Donald Trump. So he, it was enough to win, but it didn't drive, it didn't motivate people. But, but weren't mo people motivated against Trump to go for Biden, whether in fact you liked Biden or not, or whether you thought he was Sleepy Joe? Sure, and that's what pushed Sleepy Joe, if you want to call him that, over the top. But for, 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 for Trump, who, you know, if you looked at the polling, it was expected he was going to do significantly worse. There were people who voted because they were excited. They were enthusiastic to vote for, uh, for Donald Trump. One of the uh, arguments I saw about voting for Biden was that it's not like picking a, 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 a partner for a marriage. It's uh, like getting on a bus and you want to get the person who's going to get there the closest. The people who were voting for Trump, a lot of them wanted to marry him. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, those were the people, the marrying kinds. Is Biden going to be able to stop that polarization? So, the United States, oftentimes, the votes, it's 50 50, you know, close like that. But they are so rapidly antagonistic to each other. Is Biden going to be able to overcome that, do you think? It's going to be awfully tough. You already have uh, the likely Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell saying he's going to start blocking any radical uh, cabinet appointments. Joe Biden had an opportunity. He could have gone with a centrist uh, running mate. He could have put even a centrist Republican and on the running mate. And he may not have won if that was the case, though. So. But, you know, I think he would have because there was a lot of Republicans who, I think, looked at uh, Joe Biden. And if he had been a consensus ticket, he could have done even better. The Lincoln um, Project. The, the Lincoln Project. If he had put a uh, John Kasich or a Susan Collins on the ticket, for example, a moderate Republican, and a national unity ticket, I think that would have been uh, much more appealing to Republicans and he'd have a much better hand to try and work with Senate Republicans right now. It's not going to happen. Mitch McConnell is the most impactful Senate Majority Leader since Lyndon Johnson. He's going to neuter uh, Joe Biden's agenda. So is there going to be four years of essentially nice talk, but nothing saw it happening? At least two. We'll have to see what the midterms bring. <laughs> Michael Diamond, always a pleasure. Thanks very much. Three minutes. The numbers are in. And it's obvious that more and more people are watching this show because you are getting the precise and concise news that you would not get on the mainstream media. And in the meantime, I guess we're cheesing a few people off. That's clear from the fact that Randy Hillier, MPP, was censored. You can see my views on that on stevenledrew.ca. So we have to keep this going. We started as a project. We are running out of money. If you know someone who wants to advertise or to sponsor this, please fill in the form because we are determined to keep this news on the air for you.